Hello engineers, welcome to another edition of our AutoCAD MEP tutorial series. After you've completed the accessory layout, the next thing is to distribute our 20 amperes outlet for our split unit AC. But to achieve that, AC is a mechanical fixture. That means we have to incorporate and collaborate our mechanical design with this our electrical design so let's open our mechanical project Cadasmec. so we need to duplicate these our plans too blocked already okay cp enter One of the basic considerations with split AC design is to consider the elevation of this our building. We call it building elevation level. Likewise, to consider our power supply, whether it will be a single phase or a three phase. Basically, for residential, we'll be using three uh, a single phase rather or true. And another thing to consider is the occupancy type. For example, in kitchen, the occupancy property is that we'll be having a very high heat loss. Unlike our bedrooms, this is why some professionals also consider the building orientation type. But to ascertain this our projects, let's just consider the elevation and the project climate. So we we'll need to go back to the elevation level designed by the architect. Let's be forget to having this drop line here too. M A. Hope we've not dismantled this in our electrical design. So I said we need to consider the building elevation. So let's open the main MEP project to confirm the building elevation or the architectural project, which is the CADAS. So by going through this elevation, we observed that the average room height is 4 meter here, 4 meter, 4 meter. What this implies is that We'll be having a very large space between our window and the upper elevation. So let's go back to the mechanical design. Let's design our legend for this our AC. So I'll be copying in my legend now. So here is the legend for one of my recent projects. It's back, we're having a unit blue wall mounted floor standing. These are the outside inverter controller, outside compressor, roof and kitchen wood, and our drain and refrigerant pipe. We still have the extractors. These are the scheduled I designed for the project. So let's copy this. Control C and to this our make design. Control V. So we are using these two legend just to proceed easily with our electrical design. This is our indoor in CP and our base points. I'll come you can off the auto mode. So the first advice is to scale this two down. SC point seven. But what I would rather recommend is to distribute these two in our electrical design. This will give you the opportunity 
to determine easily the best location to place each unit. So I'm doing control C and to our CADA select control V. So let's now start distributing this our AC. We are not we are not considering the size at this moment. So we'll be having a wall mounted as organized somewhere around this place. Because of the elevation, we are opportune to place our fixtures above the window. We'll be having our bed somewhere around this. One of the things we have to consider in designing split system is the true distance. Let's just place these our fixtures here eh, as we are not considering the size of our AC now. If we have it here, eh, since we are having our bed here, we will have a free true. So we will be having our outdoor unit here, eh, which is an end to end. We will explain this further when we start our mechanical design. And for this our main launch, based on this architectural design, ME. Based on this architectural design, I'll prefer somewhere around this end that should be directed towards this axis. So let's place let's place a standing a floor standing AC here. With this we'll be able to have our outdoor unit somewhere around this end. And for this our dining, we can have it here because our true will be longer here than having it here. So we can just have it here. So let's copy this CP. R O F eight. And for our kitchen. I don't think we need AC here based on mechanical design. We explain this further. So let's just use a rooftop unit only. And our rooftop unit will be where we are having this our this our cooker control unit will be at the elevation level. We majorly use a twin 15 ampere outlet. So since we are done with this side of the building, let's just take a mirror of it. For the other part of the building okay. with this basically we'll be using a single phase or two so we can just have our 20 ampere outlets so let's copy our connected box for our ACA CP Let's reduce the scale SC point six so it will be somewhere beside here. Let's adjust this M M enter F eight. Okay, CP again. For this it will be somewhere around this end. Likewise for our dining, let's put it somewhere around this end, very close to our outlet here. Seems we are done for the ground floor. For our kitchen, I said we'll be using 2015 ampere. Let's adjourn that one. So, likewise, we we'll take a mirror of this for the other part of the building. Shift select means minus. Y control means plus. So you can just take the mirror of this. F8. Enter. So we designed our connected box for AC. But we need to collaborate this one with our mechanical design. So by clicking on one, select similar SEL. Enter. 
likewise that of this select similar enter but what i will do is that i will need to copy a reference base point so i'm copying this 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 and i'm pressing ctrl c and in our mechanical design i'll be pasting it outside here let's delete this so i'll be placing it outside here ctrl v so i can just copy all these now m enter our base point will be f3 here and i'll be pasting it here so we've copied ac design here let's delete this that's how we used to collaborate our connected box with our ac fittings in mechanical design we need to repeat the operation for the two other floors hope you find this tutorial explanatory don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next class.